So this is what I'm dealing with currently. Walking the vlog is day 20. I don't know what none of this is. I need to wash the toilet off. It looks like boo boo. I don't know. Honestly, I just do not know. Because my kids did this while I was in there doing Chase's hair. So that left Kari and that left Chance. <sighs> Let me clean this up and I'm going to do a proper intro for y'all. Right, so hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 20. Yeah, 20. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 20. Um, So, as you can see, might as well talk about the elephant in the room. <laughs> I'll just play with my natural hair is down. Mm, I cut my hair back in April. I cut it here. I cut like half of my hair off back in April. April 11th to be exact, like two days after my kid's birthday. I cut my key. I cut my hair. Um, I feel like it's going back nicely. It's back touch. <clears throat> like it's back touching somewhat, somewhat of my shoulder and my like, you know, back. But yeah. Other than that, um... I haven't been doing anything exciting today. I got a lot of cleaning up to do. I did call off from work because my kids were super duper sick. They do want doctor just uses, but um, but um, I'm just kidding. But yeah, that was that's pretty much that. Like they think I'm taking my kids to the hospital every time they sick or something. I don't. But I guess I'm really over this job already anyway. But I'm a, I'm a, Slow my road. Slow my road. Just two more days and then vacation. But, um, yeah. I got a lot of cleaning to do. I don't know how much I want to get done today, but hopefully I could just get through the breeze through the living room. I'm going to try to just breeze through the living room because I keep on going over the same rooms and I never get to the living room. Or I never fully get done with the living room. And it's partially because these clothes up in our, our up in area in my way. And all I have to do is wash my clothes now so that shouldn't be that much i'm still like kind of congested and stuffy like it's not going away because our house be freezing like we have our heaters on they're on comfort zone comfort zone is like in the direct middle basically it's like not too hot but it's not supposed to be too cold either and the thing is with that with just our thing being on conference zone, our bill is 300 something dollars. Mind you, this is like a one bedroom with a den, because my kid's room is like really not, I won't consider that a bedroom, I would probably consider that a little den, like an office space or something. But yeah, just for this, like it's like, why is my bill 300 something dollars um, just to use the heat? It don't make sense to me, but I really do not feel good. And then as y'all can see in that other clip, what I came with in the bathroom to while I was doing Kari. No, when I was doing Chase hair, because I did Chase hair first, Kari and Chance was in the bathroom stopping my closet when I sold it up with the tissue. A brand new roll of tissue. Mind you. A brand new roll of tissue. Y'all, tissue ain't cheap. And tissue definitely went up at Women's now, so it really ain't cheap. And I got the thicker rolls, too. Thank God it was just tissue though, because last time they put a whole apple down there. But this time it was only tissue. I know it was only tissue because I got the little snake thing and stuck it up there. And every time I was sticking out, water would go through, and then I'll keep doing it, and water would keep going through, and then it's eventually flushed. And I was like, thank you, God. But yeah, I'm so irritated with my kids right now. Alrighty, y'all. So now I'm in the kitchen. Y'all don't mind that little broken speaker. I literally brought that air to listen to music. <laughs> Well, I'll be up here cleaning up or cooking or whatnot. So, yeah. Um, why that freezer open? Anyway, um, I'm finna get ready and start prepping these ribs there. And, yeah. Woo. Yeah, it's like, I don't know if it's allergies or what, but my nose just keeps refilling. Refilling with snot. <laughs> but, um... I need to get this other video uploaded so I can go on my day. So, yeah, let me do that. This is what the meat look like while it's seasoned. I pretty much just put salt, pepper, onion powder, and like this lemon, like this this lemon type of seasoning, but it has like basil. It has like a whole bunch of ingredients. I can show y'all really quickly. Cause I'm like standing right here by the cabinet. It's by the brand Tasty. I don't know if y'all ever seen this on Facebook or anything, but 
it's pretty much like a little um, page on Facebook where they make food and stuff and they season it, you know, show you how to cook it and everything. Um, this is not the only seasoning they have. They have other seasonings as well, and I have one of them. I didn't get one because I know for sure I wouldn't like it because of what it was. But I don't remember what it was exactly, but this is the lemon one. It has basil, thyme, and lemon zest, as well as, like, other little ingredients in there that if you would like to pause it and look at the ingredients. There they are. And then... Focus. We have um, the tasty savory tomato basil and oregano seasoning mix as well. Again, they do have other ingredients besides the ones on the front of the packaging. Those are just the main ingredients that you'll probably taste. Because I know for a fact I taste the um, lemon zest for sure in this one. And probably the basil is what I'm tasting as well. But yeah, I use the lemon one in my, on my ribs. They're just um, support ribs. It's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 ribs there. So, yeah. It's enough for everybody. I, made, I might make some rice and some green beans with it. I'm not sure yet. I got to figure it out. I'm going to try to figure that out and see. Because I do want them to have some type of vegetable with this as well. So, yeah. And I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut them up for them and everything. I'm just waiting for the oven to get hot. Fully to a 400. It's only on like 305 right now. So, yeah. Alright, y'all. The boys are in my room. No, no, no. They're in their room sleep. So, if you want to the house is quiet <laughs> or where they are, they're in their sleep. Uh, I'm just cleaning up. And I'm, as y'all can see, I just put dinner on because I just showed y'all the ribs. I think I'm just making mashed potatoes and green beans on the side because we already had corn. I don't want to keep giving them corn. Um, what else? That's pretty much it. I'm just going to go in my room, clean up, and then I'm going to fold their clothes into their totes and hang their jackets and stuff up in their closet and stuff like that. And then I want to go, <clears throat> even if the next person don't get the job done, it's going to always be my duty to get the job done. As y'all can see, all that stuff back there. I got a lot of stuff that needs to go. I need to go wash again, which is my stuff. Um, I wash my kids' stuff for the most part. I wash at least like 95% of their stuff. They probably still have, I would say, a good... Like a good handful of stuff, but not too much because again, I just took majority of their clothes with me to the laundromat yesterday. I just did just their clothes yesterday, and I did some towels. And the only clothes that I did in my own, I should say, is the white clothes because I did mix everybody's clothes in the white stuff. It's not going to be enough for a low. You know how the white stuff is like? They have a lot of white t-shirts and beaters and stuff, but it's not really going to be a uh, low like it's like I could have hand wash that basically so that's that um my goal is to get a washing dryer next year tax time of course because I don't know I just can't keep doing the laundry mat I just can't even though I gotta put it at my mama's house or somebody's house until I move into my own I'm gonna put it in somebody's house baby because I cannot keep doing this I really just have my own stuff that way I don't gotta go to the laundry mat because but yesterday the laundry mat y'all let me tell y'all it was people that are talking about um, how people be coming in there with like months, like a month worth of clothes or three weeks worth of clothes, whatever, more than two weeks worth of clothes, basically, right? So the thing is, it's like, I feel like regardless of how much, first of all, why are you minding their business? We're going to start with that. Why are you minding the next person's business? You never know what nobody has, you know, going on in their life to why they didn't wash or maybe they couldn't wash, you know, for an entire month or whatever the case is. People don't understand that, but my thing is, you should not be in people, other people's business because whether they wash six months of work of clothes, if you're not the one paying for it or you're not the one having to do it or fold the clothes, wash the clothes or any of that, it shouldn't bother you what they come in with. And that's just personally how I feel. I've been that person that did two weeks. I've been that person that did a month. Like, bro, it's not easy for everybody to get up every week and go to lunch. I'm not saying, that, oh, you're lazy. People are working double time. People are, you know, people tired when you, then when you do, you get your little off day or two off days. Whatever the case is, you want to rest. And even then, you're not really resting because if you, you're a parent or anything, you have to take care of your home. So, yeah. That was just something that bothered me. I wanted to step in and say so bad, like, why are y'all minding other folks' business? Why y'all concerned about how much something, some, you know, how many clothes or how much clothes somebody else bringing in here? 
They paying for them, ain't they? Not you. They got to wash those clothes. They got to fold those clothes. They got to take them clothes home. Not you. It's giving you don't have enough clothes to wear for a month, which is why you have to come in every week or every two weeks. Like, that's how I was feeling last night because at the end of the day, it's not nobody's business how much clothes the next person come in with. They come in and they get it done. Oh, yeah, I need to learn how to, like, not think, like, you know, not want to respond to everything because everything really don't need a response. And this right here was just frustrating because it's like, how are, why are you worried about the next person? Misery loves company. You're too focused on the next person. Are you too worried about the next person? Happy people don't do that. You're miserable. I want to assume that you're miserable. For you to be worried about some, what somebody else is doing, you're not happy. Because happy people are not worried about what the next person is doing. They don't give a damn. They're just happy. You know? They're not focused on what the next person is doing. 